Hello, just after our uh, chat, I thought I'd just give a, a quick overview of uh, Tiddly Wiki uh, and Pearl Trees. So this is tiddlywiki.com. Um, so you just scroll down a bit and there's getting started. Uh, so we hit the download empty. Um, I've got my Chrome set up to ask me where I want to download. Um, you, you might find that it just downloads to, uh, to the bottom of the screen here. Uh, so when it's done, we can open this up. Um, so there's our getting started. That's that's what opens when you when you open your wiki. And we can just hit the, the plus key there to make a new one. So let's call that uh, blah. And we can put uh, hello. How are you in there? Okay. And then we might want to do something else. Let's call that... Um, Flibble, and I'm just gonna. Yeah. And it, whoopsie daisy, let's not do that. Um, no, okay. And it might be that we want to, uh, you know, we're, we're typing something and we want to link to an explanation we've already given, or you know, it might be a technical term or something. So we can just, if we've already uh, made something, we can link to it like this, or if we do new thing there. Okay. So obviously I've already made blah, I've not made new thing yet. So if we hit the tick button, let's see what happens. So you can see we've got blah there, so that will link, that will take us to blah. Uh, if I say new thing, then it says, oh, I've got a missing tiddler, and so I can just do that and then I can start to type it. So if you've not created it, um, a, a link, then it shows it in uh, in it italics there. In case that's a new thing, whereas blah, we've already made. Um, and that's, that's kind of the basics of, of TiddlyWiki. The other cool thing that it can do is, um, I don't know, um, just give that something, just A. Um, it might be that we want to, to reuse content. Um, it might be that what we typed in Flibble uh, is useful elsewhere. So, you know, we could be typing away here. Uh, and then instead of using square brackets, we can hold down shift and we put double uh, curly brackets. So let's put flibble there. Uh, and then those double curly brackets. And now again, let's see what happens. Right, so we can see that what it's done is put the content of flibble in the content of our new card, our new tiddler. Okay, so that's what that's that's quite a powerful thing as well. Um, there's loads more you can do with TiddlyWiki. You can set up filters to select things and all, all, all sorts of things. Um, so I mean, here's mine that I've been working on for a few years now. Um, you can get plugins to generate trees like this. Um, you know, so that's, that's all my stuff. Um, you know, um, it, it automatically finds everything that I've called an equation. Um, let's have a look at where's force, A, B, C, D. Have a look at force, for example. It all, what have, it's all it's set up for me so that if I use the same template each time, it will automatically find anywhere else in the wiki that I've got force um, that has a force equation and list it beneath. Uh, so it's it's quite powerful and very flexible, and you can you can do an awful lot of stuff with it. Um, so, um, if you were wanting to share it with learners, probably the easiest way to do that, um, probably the easiest way to do that, uh, would be to go to um, Tiddly Spot, um, which is a, uh, a place that does uh, free hosting of Tiddly Wikis, because the Tiddly Wiki is just a, an HTML file, it's just a web page. Um, so. If you look at the original here, um, there's Tiddly Spot, and if we click on that, um, that's the easiest way to get started. That link just there, um, which takes us to there. Uh, and so you can um, set up your your Tiddly Wiki site. Just go for a standard one, hit the Create Wiki, and then you've got your own website then, um, which you can update because um, you can put the password in, um, and you can update, and the students can access. Um, you know, like like a notebook, um, so you can see that mine, um, wherever it's gone, uh, mine's Stephen Teacher 
www.tiddlyspot.com. So I'm, I'm hosting mine on Tiddlyspot. Um, and so the students can look at this online, just, just like a web page. Um, um, I've got the Tiddly Spot save there. So you just put your password in there and you, you wiki in there. Uh, and away it goes. Um, so that's Tiddly Spot. Um, um, so I've been using that for, for a few years now. Um, may or may not be helpful to you, but it's a great little tool. Okay.